Right, today we're going to look at my official lineup for potatoes for 2019. I've got five varieties that I'm going to plant throughout the year. So follow me and we need to go a quick way. So there's a couple of you out there might know that I like science fiction. In that hut, there's a wormhole to the allotment. Come. See? Oh, wrong one. There you go, that's better. I didn't pay the rent on the wormhole. <laughs> so today we're gonna to look at my potato, my whole potato setup for 2019. The potatoes I'm gonna use, the methods I'm gonna use, and the fertilizers and everything else that I'm putting in and working with the potatoes over. And this is gonna be from, you know, the, the kind of February, March, planting them in right the way through to Christmas potatoes. And I'm gonna use the potatoes I'm buying now for me Christmas potatoes as well. I've had a little kind of research and a few people have commented how to do it as well. So that's the goal this year is the potatoes I've got now as well is gonna go right through and even for Christmas potatoes. So come and have a look at me lineup of potatoes. So first up is my earlies. This is what I'm going for. International kidney, because everyone seems to be growing these for first earlies, you know what I mean? Kind of foolproof, hopefully foolproof. So. That's my earlies. My second earlies, I've mentioned these before, is my bag of Charlotte, which I've got there. And a big thank you to Here We Grow UK, Tony from down there, because he mentioned JBA for potatoes, and it was just by chance, mind you, and I noticed that label, I went, oh, that'll do for me as well. So basically what I'm doing is I'll put a link on the Tony's site as well, channel, because what, what Tony doesn't know, another Tony, about potatoes is just not worth knowing basically. Right, so into my main crop is the Maris Piper, purely because Mr. Jamie Oliver says it's his best potato for bacon, bacon potatoes, things like that. So Maris Piper for that one. And I've got two more sets of main pink fir apples. Now someone mentioned as well, how to kind of peel, and I don't peel them when I boil them. Do you know what I mean? I just kind of boil them with the skins on, chop them up, salt and pepper, and a bit of butter. Fantastic. So pink fir apples is a main crop. And because when I went in the thing, the, the garden center again, there was one bag left of this Sapomira main crop. Now everyone on YouTube seems to be grow these, so with one bag left, I thought, I'm gonna just get a bag, see? See what becomes of them. See if I can get a nice big potato out of that. So that is my main crop there. The full five, four. As you can see there, that's me. That's what I'm going with this year. So all these that you see as well will last me the full year. Because what I intend to do, and I was kind enough to get a few comments on me last one when I mentioned the potatoes, that I actually don't, we don't eat that many potatoes, is that, if you take your sea potatoes, wrap them in paper, and then keep them in the, the fridge in a cool area, they'll last to bring them out, you know, so when you can chip them later on. As you can see, these are my pots. I've got 15 now of the 30 litre pots. And I've got some 50 litre ones as well, but I'm gonna use for the, my main, my, kind of the main time of growing potatoes, these 30, 15, sorry, 30 litre pots. And I'll put a link on, because they were quite, not difficult to find, but just trying to search on Amazon, they were a bit kind of awkward to try and look for them. So 30 litre pots on there, I've got 15 of them. What I'm going off for in fertilizers, and I know it's like a loose bag, but we've got it in bulk, grow more. I'm gonna put some grow more, and these will be like handfuls going in, and I'll do it. You know, when I kind of, obviously when I do the potatoes and plant them up, I'll do that. I'm putting in some fish blood and bone, and I'll also, in the same style box it is, it's like a potato fertilizer itself. And I'm gonna put them in as, that in as well, mix it all up with it like a, just a normal compost. And there we go, I'm just about now to chip them off the potatoes that I want, that's me. I thought I had a lot more egg boxes than did, I've been saving them, I don't know if people have just been throwing them out or putting them in the recycle bin, and they, they weren't there, so 
that's me potato chicken area and today's date oh is that the, my phone today's date is the 20th of january so i'm starting to chip my potatoes now and yes good old sharpie and thing because i wouldn't gonna the ambition like i mentioned last video the ambition is to label everything right throughout the season so big nice pack of labels there and a sharpie pen and i can take that off don't worry about re i'll recycle don't go down that lane i tell you what i noticed about the potatoes you know it shows you on the back the instructions you know like what to do and it's all ground based you know into the earth pots are oh, this kind of new thing that's come along you know but anyway let's get them all done first up the international kidney So there we go then, International Kidney, Charlotte, Harris Miper, Maris Piper will try, Pink Fur Apple and the Sapa Miro and it obviously goes in weird so that's all I've got really in the Sapa Mira ones, you know there's not that many there but they're enough for me, you know, God, <laughs> but the whole idea is to give them away once they grow as well. So that's them there chitting now. So that's my plan, laid out, that's me. We plan for 2018, 19 should I say, potatoes. I've got that, them different varieties and I'm gonna plant them in them, fifth, them 30 litre buckets and with the fertilizer. And there's sometimes, cause I've watched Tony as well, where he, he kind of tells you to dig them in the soil. Someone's mentioned where you, you put them in the soil as well. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna put them along certain paths that I don't really walk up much anyways. And just let them and i'll be able to take them you know because i want to plant them some of them the early ones early and if there's a frost i can just bring them into the polytunnel for the time being so that is my potato plan what's yours what's your favorite potato and tell us what you're doing with your potatoes comments below look after yourselves take good care